everyone. Today's going to be a quick video. We're just going to focus on the eyes for today. I already have all my face on. Um, if you have any questions about anything that I have on my face today, it should all be listed in the description box down below. If you're new, welcome. My name is Christine. Um, before you take off after this video, if you could please subscribe and maybe even hit that bell and then you'll be notified anytime I upload another video. We do lots of different things on our channel um, and I say our channel because right now um, my family is on the channel quite a bit, my pets are on the channel quite a bit and we're going to be doing lots of lifestyle, home, maybe even some cooking videos and of course makeup and beauty, hair. So welcome and today we're going to be using a new to me palette again this is from ColourPop and it is part of their Disney Villains collection. It's really, really pretty. I have to say I bought it mostly because it's Disney and our entire family loves Disney. So uh, I preferred this one over the, the princess one. They do have one with all the princesses, but I kind of like the villain one better. The colors kind of spoke to me more in this palette than they did in the other one. So. This is the one I chose to try out. Love ColourPop products. Haven't had any issues at all with any of their, especially their eyeshadows. They usually blend beautifully and the pigment is there. So we're gonna get started with that and I'm gonna go in with a nice fluffy brush. This is the R38 by Morphe. And we'll start with a nice crease, crease, mm -hmm. crease shade. Uh, it's called Devious. And it is the darker of the two kind of neutrally brown colors in the palette. The names on this palette are really cute. I'm going to start that in my crease. I like that they included some crease shades so that you can get a full look from the one palette. Um, I don't mind having to, to put something else in the crease if I have a palette that is mostly bright colors or, um, you know, Colors that are too dark to maybe put in your crease or an all shimmer palette. Sometimes I'll just use my bronzer. And that works really well too. So if you're ever kind of stuck with a palette and you're not sure which one would work as a transition shade, maybe none of them will. And you can just, just go ahead and use your bronzer that you used that day. It makes for a very nice cohesive look. I've seen Allie Glines do it quite a bit on her channel. I love her. Watch everything she puts up. If you haven't seen her videos yet, I don't know what you're doing, but search for her and hopefully I will remember to link it in my description box so you can find her really easily. Also, if you're new and you haven't heard me say this, a million times please go over and check out my Instagram it has the same name Christine underscore Elaine 72 and I do lots of stuff on Instagram actually pretty much try to put up a makeup look per day it just depends um, sometimes it's not sometimes it's more homey or my pets or whatever we're doing I try to take off the weekend from videos and just do Instagram but hey stuff happens sometimes I don't get to Instagram either but it's a pretty fun page especially if you're really into makeup I'm not a makeup artist either those of you that have been here know that but if you're new I'm not a makeup artist I just really love makeup um, and I going in now with the lighter brown color just to kind of buff out the edges that one is called tragic um, I watch a lot of YouTube videos of some very very talented people and I've learned a lot from them about the application and tools that can be used and even somewhat color stories and choosing which ones to use but when I go into a look especially if I'm using the palette for the first time 
I don't usually know up front what I'm going to do. I just kind of, it kind of develops. Today I would like to stick with more of a, a purple look because I just did a really bright one yesterday. Um, so I'm going to try and go in with the purples today. As far as matte shades in the palette, I wish there were more of a matte purpley or lilac color that I could put on um, because they have a beautiful shimmer. I cannot do this backwards. It makes me crazy. Uh, they have a really pretty purple shimmer called Forest of Thorns. I want to use that all over the lid. I'm not sure how it's going to look without another purple, but I do have a navy blue to deepen up the outer corner, so we're going to try that one after we get the shimmer on. Again, that shimmer is called Forest of Thorns. It's right in the center of that palette, and I'm going to use my finger. I also think that most shimmers go on better with your finger, but if you're one of those people that absolutely hates to, to touch the makeup with your fingers, or perhaps you are a makeup artist, I'm sure you'll think this is gross because you're putting your fingers in your palette. But I am the only one who uses my palettes. I don't use them on anyone else, so I can stick my finger in it all I want. The only hard part is that I find it difficult to get into that inner corner because I have giant fingers. I don't really have giant fingers. Um, they're not that big. They're normal size fingers. But I still can't get in there without making a mess. So I'm going to try the M456 from Morphe to get into that inner corner. Also, probably almost blind without glasses, and I don't wear them very often anyway. I know that's terrible, but how are you gonna put on makeup with glasses? Wear contacts, you say. Mm. I'm also one of those lucky people that have a condition that makes my eyes very, very dry, so <laughs> my contacts end up rolling up under my eyelids and sticking to the back side of my eyelids. It's awesome. So I can't do the contact thing either. That is a really pretty color. Very nice. I may take one of the other ones and just put a little pop of it in the center. They've got some very pretty antique looking gold and also a true gold. Um, go ahead and take that same brush. I have a brush cleaner in my drawer that I use. It's just like a little spongy thing. I think I got it at Ulta. Pretty sure. It needs cleaned. But it's just a little spongy thing to get most of the color off of your brush in between uses. It comes in handy for me. So now I'm going to try that navy blue to deepen up the outer corner. And it looks very dark. Pat that on. I am getting a little bit of fallout from that color. But it's a really pretty color. I am super loving the blue eyeshadow trend right now. I love it. A lot of people do not love it. Um, I had no idea it was a thing. I know that in the 80s, 90s, we did blue eyeshadow quite a bit. But I always liked it. I never had a problem with it. I think it looks nice. It. I have hazel eyes, which some days look green and some days look more brown. But if I put any blue on my eyelids, they look really super blue, and I, I love it. It looks really nice. Okay, we're gonna take that same crease color and just kind of blend out those edges a bit. But I like the way the navy is looking with the purple. I've decided to also do the purple in the waterline 
I think it's going to look nice. We're going to give it a try. I always say this. Um, it's just makeup. If I don't like it, I can wash it off. It's not a big deal. Unless, of course, you have some place to go right after. I do not have any place to go today that I know of. So I get to just play with it. And if it turns out good, yay! And if it turns out really terrible, I can just wash it off. It's a beautiful thing about makeup. I'm going to add a little bit more of that blue. It seemed to diffuse quite a bit when I blended. So I'm going to bring some of that color back. Mostly in the outer V. And then I'm going to just very carefully and lightly touch up that edge. I want to be careful not to blend away all the blue again because then it's just going to get very muddy on the outer corner and I don't want that. Sometimes you just have to kind of finagle it until it does what you want. But is it villainy enough for us? I want it to be kind of dark and smoky looking. I'm going to run that same transition shade under the eye, the fluffy brush. In my opinion, it got a little bit muddy out on the outer corner. I don't love the way that looks. I'm gonna try to add a little bit more of the transition shade. Bring that back again. Sometimes it's work. You have to work at it a little bit to get it to where you want. white brushes are so pretty when you first use them. It doesn't take long for them to get really yucky looking. Okay. I think I like where that's headed. There are some beautiful colors in here for an inner corner. There is a matte white, but I kind of wanted something a little shimmery, so I'm going to go with the one that is kind of a champagne, and it's called Mongrels. Just a little bit. This is a very versatile palette, I think, because you can get very pretty, sultry, dark looks, but you could also keep it very neutral for daytime. There are lots of browns and other neutrals that you could go for. So you could use it as an everyday palette, I think, at least for me. Um, how about I add a tiny bit of that blue on the lower lash line, as close to the lash line as I can get it. I did get some on the water line, but it should be fine. Like I said, I'm adding kind of a deep purple to the water line. It shouldn't detract from that. Nothing like putting a brush right in your eyeball, huh? Connect it to the top of the look. Okay, that I like better. Let's get our purple for the waterline. This is a Koki eye pencil. 
these are so beautiful for the waterline and they have some really pretty colors as well um, it's their velvet smooth eyeliner this one is called eggplant um, they're very creamy and very soft for the waterline and affordable as well I like that up against the dark blue it looks really pretty it has pretty good staying power as well not as good as the Urban Decay 24-7 liners but it'll do in a pinch and it's extremely affordable I find mine at Walmart and I believe they have it at our drugstore which is Rite Aid I know that not everybody has a Rite Aid um, I'm not sure about CVS I haven't looked in there for it Walmart usually is the best place to get it because it is the cheapest all right I have a um, liquid liner that I'm going to use today it's kind of a gunmetal gray silvery color it's by Rimmel it's called their Wonders Swipe and I find this one really easy to use so I plan on picking up some more colors of this they have some beautiful colors they have one that is a, a really bright green that I would love to get sorry have to get fairly close to my mirror this one has a little bit of sparkle in it so if that's not your thing you might not like this on my eyelash okay that was the thing I like most about that liner is it's ex so extremely easy to apply um, I have checked the wear time probably up to maybe an eight hour mark and it was still on my eyes when I went to wipe it off so the staying power is good the price is great Rimmel products also can be found at Walmart and they are super affordable and I have a lot of their products and I really enjoy quite a few of them. Um, I think we're going to do black mascara on the top and we're gonna try the purple mascara on the bottom. Um, I thought about the navy, but I'm not sure that you would see it as well. We're gonna try the dark, it's a darker purple, not a lavender, but a deeper, darker purple. I think that's gonna look really pretty. That's one of Maybelline's new Snap Scaras. They have them in some really pretty colors. There's one that's kind of a blood red. I really like that one as well. Um, I only use it on my lower waterline, or I'm sorry, my lower lash line. So I don't really look to it to do much lengthening or adding volume, but for the lower lash line, I do want something that doesn't flake or smear all over my face, and these ones do not budge. Once they're on, they're on. They don't make a mess, and yet they seem to come off perfectly well with my makeup wipes at night. What doesn't come off with my makeup wipe, oftentimes I will go ahead and use a micellar water to get the rest of the mascara off and have never really had to fight with it to get it off so I like it I bought my two favorite colors the deep red and the purple which is called I want to say what are you called ultraviolet ultraviolet this is a lash primer by L'Oreal it's their Voluminous Primer. I love it. 
You'll see it in a lot of videos because I love it that much. I use it every single time I use mascara. Unless I'm doing a video where I know I'm going to wash it off and as soon as I'm done, then I don't bother with it. But for the most part, it's under every mascara that I use. It seems to help with the length and the volume and the curl. So for, I want to say it was $7.99. Don't quote me on that. It could be a little more, but I love it. It is well worth it. I'm trying desperately to grow out my lashes. I'm using also a lash accelerator every night. Um, I'm not a huge fan of wearing false lashes. I do do it sometimes if I'm doing a really glam look and I think it needs it, but for the most part, Again, my eyes are so sensitive. I haven't really found a lash that is light enough. It doesn't feel really heavy or a glue that doesn't make my eyes really, really get itchy after just a couple of hours. So, I'm still on the hunt, still trying them out. I wear them if I have to, and then I'm prepared to take them off. If any of you have any, uh, particular false lashes that you really really love and that you can recommend especially for sensitive eyes and I must have not the biggest eyes either because I always have to cut mine every time I haven't found one yet that is small enough that I don't have to cut them I hate doing all that it's just I want a mascara that makes it look like I'm wearing them even though I'm not. Okay, that's all I want. I don't. Second coat of the Benefit Bad Gal Bang Mascara. This is a very good mascara for me. The wand is, is the type that I, I usually like the more fluffy ones with lots of bristles, and this one is not. It's a rubber wand with really small bristles, but it is super bendy. So even if I accidentally touch my eye with it, it's not going to poke me and make me want to ball my eyes out. Um, I think the eyes came out really good. I like that palette. I will definitely use it again. It came out very nice. So we're on to the lips. Today I'm going to put on my lip primer, if I can find it. One eternity later. This is the, actually, this is the Ulta Beauty brand. It just comes in a white tube like this. But the only thing that I see as a benefit from it, it does moisturize, it feels good on my lips, and possibly it fills in the lines a little bit, so if you have a lot of visible lines on your lips. You might really like something like that to help with that. Today I'm going in with just a cream lipstick. It is by um, Barack. It's their Alter Ego cream lipstick. This one is in the shade Girl Next Door. It's kind of a cool toned pink. They are very, very creamy. And this one is very, very pink. I'm gonna add a gloss on top of this. This is fairly new to me. Um, it is the Maybelline Summer McKean. She is a, she's on Instagram for sure. I believe she's a YouTuber. Um, I haven't watched her videos yet, but I did look her up. It is the lip gloss by Maybelline. It's a collab with her. And this one is called Barefoot. It's a very pretty sparkly nudie pink. It smells like cake. 
And this is my favorite kind of applicator. Hopefully you can see that. I know it's the same color as my hand, but it is the the one that is very, very pointed at the top. It has a hole in the center to collect the product so you don't have to dip in 14 times. And it just makes it really easy, especially if you aren't wearing lip liner that day, which today I decided not to. Can't tell me any different. Not the boss of me. All right, last step before we're finally done is the MAC um, Watermelon Fix Plus. They decided to put out some different kind of summery fragrances of the Fix Plus. Watermelon is my favorite. I do have the pineapple one in my cart because I want to try it. I was very happy that they decided to come out in the deluxe or the sample size, sample size, travel size. I love that because you get to try it for less than you would buy the big, big bottle of Fix Plus. I think it works exactly like Fix Plus. I do have the original Fix Plus. I think it holds the makeup just as well, but smells delicious. I love it. Anything rose scented or watermelon scented, man, I'm telling ya, I see it and I'm like, put it in my cart. Just put it in there, because I'm gonna buy it. All right, take out my beautiful clips, aren't those? Those are fashionable, everybody's doing it. All right, what do we think? Finished look? I like it. This is something I would just wear to work or wear to Walmart. I don't, I like to wear color on my eyes, so. I like it, I hope you do too. Thank you so much for coming today and spending time with me. It was a lot of fun. I love this palette. I have nothing but good things to say about ColourPop, really. Um, I have a lot of their eyeshadow palettes and they're so affordable and they really do work phenomenally. I just, this one's no different. The formula feels the same and that's key, consistency. I really like a brand that can be consistent across the board and so far they really have been. And I love Disney. I love Disney. It's so good. The, the names on it are amazing. I love it. And I really love that they put the names right on the palette. I don't like those little sheets that you get and they get tossed out two seconds after you get it home. Um, what else new did I try today? Is that it? I think so. I mean this, I tested it out when I first got it. The Maybelline Gloss. Um, I smelled it. I put some on my lips. Today's the first time I've used it actually over a lipstick or in a video. So I really like that. It's a really good, and they have um, more shades in this too. So I'll be thinking about that. It does have a lot of shimmer in it. So if you don't like that, you might not love it, but I really like it. And it's sitting nicely on the lips. It doesn't feel sticky or gooey or anything. So I like it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for subscribing and hitting that bell. Now go over to Instagram and take a look at my feed and just like everything. Like it all. Like it all. Tell your friends. Tell your friends to tell their friends. Let's get this ball rolling. It'll be great. Thank you so much. I hope you're happy and healthy wherever you are today. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.